It's all about the hybrid, baby. Want to be able to unlock your hybrid class fast and easy. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to unlock it and how to equip it the fastest, the easiest way. Because if you're playing Dragon Dogma 2, one of the main things you want to do is get OP. And the way you get OP, guys, is by being able to unlock your hybrid class. So let's go ahead and talk about what you're going to need to do in order to get it unlocked. In order to unlock it, guys, you're gonna need to come to this location right here where you're gonna have to fight a dragon. The dragon's not here yet, but I'm gonna show you guys how to spawn the dragon so you guys could go ahead and fight it. So what we're gonna need to do, guys, is we're gonna need to progress throughout the game. It usually takes between eight to 10 hours to get to the area where you're gonna get started, but you're gonna wanna make sure you get to this location in the map, Venworth. You're gonna wanna make sure you get to this particular location. Now, I would suggest, and this is the way it was unlocked for me, is to do between one to two, th one to two to three quest lines within this location. It's going to take you, you know, roughly like an hour to get them completed. But once you guys have done and completed the quest lines, you're going to want to make your way back to Melv. Now, when you make your way back to Melv, you're probably wondering, Ledger, that's a long walk. Like, how do I get back there? Well, guys, that's where we have the ox cart. So if you don't have a fast travel point or you don't have an option to get there quicker, what you're going to want to make sure you do is you get yourselves on an ox cart and make your way back to Melv. Now, as soon as you make your way back to Melv, you're going to see the dragon in the location we talked about earlier. But this is not the dragon we want to fight. This is going to be like the baby version of this dragon. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you take out this dragon to be able to progress through this particular quest line. Now, I don't want to spoil too much, but after you get done killing the dragon, there's going to be a character that spawns in that is going to be uh, a person you could approach and talk to him that doesn't really have a name because you have to ask him what his name, but you're going to get to a point within the dialogue where you ask him how he learned to fight the way he's fighting. You're also going to ask him his name. You basically just got to exhaust his dialogue. And once his dialogue has been exhausted, you're going to get a prompt that says that you have unlocked the spear hand. Now you got the spear hand, but you need to actually equip it. So what you want to do, guys, is just follow me here. You're going to work your way back to Melv. And when you get to Melv, you're going to go to the Gil Hall. The Gil Hall is going to be a little shack that has a little sign that looks exactly like weapons. This is basically where you change locations, where you put your storage in. You're going to go to this location. And you're going to talk to the bartender. Now, the bartender is going to ask you a couple questions, but you want to make sure you select change locations. When you go to change locations, you're going to see that now apart from having just the four vocations that you had, now you have an option of that hybrid vocation. For example, in this case, we have the option for the mystical spear hand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch it over from our fighter to the mystical spear hand. Now I do want you guys to know that you're gonna need DCP points and I've already made a video on how to get them, but you're just gonna wanna make sure you have enough. I believe it's 200. And once you have enough points, you'll be able to switch the class. Now, once you unlock them, you're going to want to make sure you go to the menu because in the menu now, you're going to be having better options. Like, for example, he comes with a different weapon. But in addition to that, he's also going to have different sets of skills that you're not used to fighting because you've been running as a fighter or whatever class you've been running with. So you're going to want to make sure you go in there and activate the new skills that he has available. Now, not all his skills are going to be available in order for you guys to get more skills. Of course, you're going to need more DCP, DCP points to be able to unlock those. Now, additionally to that, you're also going to be able to add augments in here. And this is where things get really crazy because you could get augments from the thief, augments from the, uh, the mage, augments from the archer, augments from the fighter to make an amazing character. Of course, we're going to have builds here on the channel, so you're not going to want to miss those. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss out on those amazing builds that are coming for each individual class. Now, one super important tip I want to give you guys is as you're playing the game, you got to remember that you're going to be picking up weapons and items from other classes. Now, these items and weapons are also suited for hybrid classes. So you're going to want to make sure you pay attention to that and make sure you don't delete them or throw them away or don't pick them up from your inventory because later on, if you want to switch to a hybrid class and want to move to a different hybrid class, you're going to be like, oh crap, I had an awesome bow and arrow and I threw it away. Or like I had a really cool, you know, sword or, or outfit and I kind of, you know, dismantled it. So just make sure you guys keep a constant eye out for these uh, different items that are part of the game. Now, Guys, if you want to level up fast, I highly recommend you check out this video, which is going to help you level up fast. Not only that, but also help you get more DC poo points to be able to get and unlock those particular weapon skills from your character. I hope you guys are enjoying our Dragon Dogma 2 coverage. If you are, do me a huge favor. 
Drop a like, drop a comment. Most importantly, subscribe to the channel, turn those notice, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.